In this tutorial, we will model this part here. So let's start by starting a 2D sketch on the base plane. So that's the X, Z plane. And we'll start with the, the arcs at the rear side. So we'll start on the origin. And that has a radius of 25 mil, so a diameter of 50. And then at the front, we have also a arc with a radius of 25. So we'll draw in a 50 mil diameter circle. I'll use the horizontal constraint between the two center points, make sure they are aligned, and then our dimension between both circles at, at 60 millimeters, like so. And then we can use the line tool and we'll join these circles together by the top quadrants and also by the base quadrants as well. We'll then use the tangential constraint, make sure the lines are positioned correctly. There we go, fully constrained sketch. And then we use the trim tool for these two arcs here. Take those out. Our next feature, we'll input the slot. So we'll take the center to center slot tool and that starts at the center point of this circle. So we'll start there. It has a length of 12 millimeter. And then it has a radius of six millimeter. So we'll enter 12 mil there like so. And then we just need to enter the through hole on the other side, which has a diameter, uh, a radius of 10 mil, so diameter 20 mil. And that sketch is now fully defined. We can extrude that profile, select that profile, and the distance is 12 millimeters. Press OK. And now we need to take out the slot on the underside. So for this, let's choose the appropriate plane. In this case, it's the YZ plane. So we'll right click there, create new sketch. And for this, we'll draw in a, let's do a two point center rectangle. We'll start that at the origin. As a total height of six mil, uh, this slot does. So we'll input 12 mil there. And then for the length is 20 millimeters. So, so we've drawn that in place. We've got a 3D model extrude and that profile has been selected. We'll select the Boolean cut and we'll do that in both directions and we'll go through all. And if we rotate the part, we can see that's taking out the correct geometry. We'll press OK. There we go. That's our slot on the underside done. And now we need to do the extrusion about the slot here. So for this, we'll draw on this plane, create new sketch. I'm going to project the geometry about this existing slot. I'm going to use the offset tool and offset that. So the outer slot has a 12 mil radius. So we need to offset that by six millimeters. Then we can go on 3D model. We can extrude that profile there. And that is a height of four millimeters. Press enter. And there we have our slot uh, extrusion just here. And now the last feature is on the rear side. So we could, we'll draw this on the same plane. We'll draw in a circle, the radius 25 mil, so 50 mil diameter circle. Now through holes already there, so let's project that geometry. And then we can 3D model and extrude that profile. And we'll extrude that by that's 20 millimeters. Enter. Now we need to take out the slot in the center. A uh, number of ways to do this. Uh, let's draw on this face. Create sketch. And for this, again, we'll do a center two point rectangle. Now let's draw the total length at 70 millimeters. And for the width of this slot, it's 12 millimeters. And then we can go to 3D model and extrude, select that profile, select cut. And the distance there is six millimeters. That's OK. And there we have our completed model. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section and I will reply as soon as I can. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.